I think the people sent us a clear message. Fighting for the sake of fighting, power for the sake of power, conflict for the sake of conflict gets us nowhere. So that was one of the opening moments of Sleepy Joe's State of the Union last night. And what struck me about that brief clip was the people have spoken, he said. I think he's referring to the 80-something million people who voted for him. They've spoken. They wanted him to be president because they knew he wouldn't be involved in conflict and infighting with Congress, which we all know is an outright lie. We know he didn't get over 80 million votes. He knows it, and every Democrat sitting in that Congress knows it. But this video tonight is about one of the biggest lies Joe Biden has ever told. We all know that he's a pathological liar. <clears throat> he says things that he knows, I believe, to not be true. But he thinks the American people are so stupid that actually we're going to believe him. But this struck me as how can you get up there and say this when you know straight up you were going to do this yourself? You and the Democrats are the only ones that want to do this. But you're going to say it's the Republicans' fault. I mean Social Security and Medicare. He's blaming Republicans for wanting to do away with it. So have a look at this clip. Instead of making the wealthy pay their fair share, some Republicans, some Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's a majority. <laughs> Let me give you, anybody who doubts it, contact my office. I'll give you a copy. I'll give you a copy of the proposal. That means Congress doesn't vote. Well, I'm glad to see you. No, I tell you, I, I enjoy conversion. You know, it means if, if Congress doesn't keep the programs the way they are, they'd go away. Other Republicans say, I'm not saying it's a majority of you. I don't even think it's even a significant. But it's being proposed by individuals. I'm not politely not naming them, but it's being proposed by some of you. Look, folks, the idea is that we're not going to be we're, we're not going to be moved into being threatened to default on the debt if we don't respond. <laughs> folks. I think Carmela even just by the look on her face, she must have been saying to herself, I can't believe he just said that when he knows it's absolutely not true. Even Kamala Harris knows that Joe Biden is a pathological liar and he thinks the American people are going to believe everything he says. He will tell you Republicans want to do away with Social Security and Medicare. He will tell you that he wants nothing to do with it. And he will also tell you that he would never or never has in his entire criminal political career ever once said that he wanted to do away with Social Security and Medicare. But I have a next clip that is between Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders when they were running for president. And Bernie Sanders calls Joe out right to his face and Biden still, still continues to lie. Have a look at this clip. Let me ask you a question, Joe. Yeah. You're right here with me. Yeah. Have you been on the floor of the Senate? You were in the Senate for a few years. Yeah. Time and time again, talking about the necessity, with pride, about cutting Social Security, cutting Medicare, cutting veterans programs. No. You never said that. No. I, when I argued that we should freeze federal spending, I meant Social Security as well. I meant Medicare and Medicaid. I meant veterans benefits. I meant every single solitary thing in the government. And I not only tried it once, I tried it twice, I tried it a third time, and I tried it a fourth time. Joe, let me repeat it again. I want you just to be straight with the American people. I am saying that you have been on the floor of the Senate time and time again, 
talking about the need to cut Social Security, Medicare, and veterans programs. Is that true or is that no, not true? No, it's not true. What that is, is not true? That is not true. I meant veterans, but I meant every single solitary thing in the government. Everything was on the table. I did not support any of those cuts in Social Security or in veterans. Whoa, benefits. whoa, whoa. You, you, everything was on the table. All right, you're right. You just said it, including, in your judgment, cuts to Social Security and veterans. In order to get the kinds of changes we need on other okay. things related. Joe, then but you just... Didn't, but we did not cut it. I, I know, because people like me helped stop that. All that I would say to the American people, go to YouTube. It's all over the place. Joe said it many, many times, and I'm surprised, you know, you can defend that or change your mind on it, but you can't deny the reality. Sanders made him look like a complete and utter fool during that debate when he called him out to his face and Biden looked at him and said, no, he never did it. He never said it. He never voted on it. And then you see Joe Biden on the Senate floor saying straight up, I want to cut veterans benefits. I want to cut Social Security. I want to cut Medicare. I voted for it once, twice, three times, and four times. But then in that debate, he says, but we didn't do it. We didn't cut it. You're right. Because Congress stopped you because they knew you were nothing but a fool. You were trying to do, all you were trying to do was harm the pockets of the American people, just like he's trying to do now. So he's going to stand up there at that podium in Congress last night and tell these outright lies. And you hear the Republicans booing him and calling him a liar because he is. We know this and every. Every voter in the United States of America knows this. That's why I'm pretty damn sure that this guy absolutely was installed as president. He did not win that election. He did not get over 80 million votes. Those Democrats were going to do everything in their power to make sure Donald Trump did not get in for a second term. So Joe Biden won the election? Absolutely not. Unfortunately, he is our president, so they say. But he wants to stand up there and make these speeches, spew this trash, that he's doing everything to make our country better again. He blames Trump for inflation. He blames Trump for the border crisis. He blames Trump for the Chinese balloon that was just spying over our country. He blames Trump for everything. We all know that Donald Trump isn't an angel, but Donald Trump did things in his four years that were a hell of a lot better than anything Joe Biden has ever done. And I've said this a thousand times, I was never a Trump fan, never. I think he's a loose cannon. But if I had to have a choice, make a choice of voting for Trump or Biden in 2024, my vote's going to Trump because this man cannot continue to serve and do what he's doing, which is destroying our country, destroying our military, and bankrupting the everyday American with his failures and his woke policies where all he wants to do is take care of certain groups of people and certain races because actually those people believe his lies. The LBGTs and the Qs and the plus threes, they believe his lies. We all know he had that he, she, Dylan Mulvaney in the White House are you kidding me right now? That's a kid who was doing commercials for tampons. He's a man. And Joe Biden buys into it. What do, Doesn't that tell people anything? That this guy is a complete failure. He is doing nothing to make our economy stronger. He's doing nothing to make our country stronger. We are a laughing stock to the entire world world 
on a spy, under spineless Joe's leadership. And again, you saw Kamala Harris's <coughs> excuse me face when he made that comment that Republicans want to do away with Medicare and Social Security. She even knows it's a lie, and she's not that much smarter than he is, and we know he's a, a netwit. This is what I'm talking about. People are praising this fool, like the nitwits on The View, or the CNN, or MSNBC, Donna Lemon from CNN, you know him, he cries over everything, he just loves Joe Biden so much. But Joe Biden is a pathological liar, and he's running a crime enterprise out of the White House as president, he did it as vice president, and he did it. Every single year, he was allowed to stay in the Senate. And he got 80 million votes. It's absolute garbage. And just those clips alone should make people see that this man does nothing but lie. He doesn't want to do anything good. It's either that or he's so burnt out, he's so fried that he just doesn't know how to. So everybody around him is running ahead in the race, if you will, and doing everything to destroy our country. Because we're going nowhere but down with these people. So if he wants to continue to tell his lies, I can only hope that the Republicans in the House do something to stop him. We know the Democratic side is not going to. Maxine Waters... That dinosaur, all she wants to do is see race riots in the street. We know that. Nancy Pelosi, all she wants to do is inside a trading so her and Big Paulie can make more money than they already have. And they want to continue to basically lie to us because these Democrats think that we are fools, that we're going to sit back and allow our country, the greatest country in the world, to be destroyed by them. I'm not on board with it. I never was, and I never will be, and I'm pretty sure you agree with me. And that's it. I, I just had to show you that. I mean, that speech went on for so long, I, I wouldn't want to bore you with it because it was so full of trash that I mean, whoever wrote that is one of the greatest liars of all time. It might even be been KJP who wrote that because we all know how she lies every time she opens her mouth. So whoever wrote that speech maybe deserves an award for being the greatest liar there ever was because it's all lies. And that's it again. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't liked this video, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. You'll never miss an episode. Share this video with someone because I'm pretty sure there are people out there who didn't see that last night. And I think they need to know about the lies he's telling because that's all they are. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. And I'll see you soon. If you haven't liked